Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I just wanted to share with you something I've been working on. I've been doing a little paper crafting and enjoying it very much. And I made kind of like a, uh, a loaded um, file folder gift set. Sure, that's what we're gonna call it. <laughs> I made it for a friend of mine and I used this beautiful Wonderland paper by Stamperia. And I do have a link below um, where you can find Stamperia paper at a really good price through one of my affiliate links. So go check that out. And so um, this is made out of a few different file folders. And in this first pocket, this actually was a flower that was gifted to me that I um, put on there with this little clip that I made to go on the file folder with a pretty blue bead. My friend loves blue, so that is the color I went with. Because I hardly ever get to craft with blue, and this paper is so pretty, and it has pink too, so yay. And what I decided to do with these clothespins is I hadn't made a clothespin in a really long time, so I thought, let me see how much stuff I can fit onto one clothespin. <laughs> and surprisingly enough, I could fit quite a bit. Um, I used the paper, I started with the pink uh, clothespin, I covered it with the paper, and then I put a long um, piece of uh, metal filigree on there, and then I added these uh, silver leaves, and then a crystal um, spray. Then I added the uh, flowers, this big turquoise one, so pretty, a little blue uh, rolled rose, and then a little pink acrylic with a rhinestone. Then I added, um, I used my punch, which I put it away, but I have a little butterfly punch and I used it to uh, put a butterfly here with um, a little crystal in the middle. And then I made, I put a tiny little, I can't tell if it's focusing or not. There it goes, a tiny little butterfly right there with the crystal. And then I just hung uh, this really pretty bead off of the metal filigree. So I love how these turned out. Yes, I got a little carried away. I was like, how much can I get on a clothespin? And I mean, honestly, I probably could have gone <laughs> even more, but I, I stopped there. So that is what the front looks like. Look at this. I love this so much. And I sewed around the edge and put this sentiment at the bottom from the paper pad and added a little bit of ribbon and a little tiny heart appliques. And now here is the inside. It's just so pretty, this paper pad though, right? Um, I made a set of four gift cards that I, uh, with envelopes that I put along the top. So there's or note cards and then um, there's two bookmarks from the paper bag and I've sewed around the edges and added some silk sari ribbon to the top. I've made a set of three tags from the paper pad that have also been sewn around the edges. They're pretty and they're tied together with some seam binding. In this pocket I've made pockets. Oh look focus. I've made these little pockets for her to use however she would like. And I've sewn them together and I put um, some pearls in this one. And in this one I put some of these blue sticky back rhinestones. So pretty. So pretty. So I've made her two pockets. Then I um, altered some paper clips. Um, all from the paper pad using, again, my butterfly punch and some crystals. And the, these beautiful uh, crystals that I'm using, I actually got from my friend Dennis when I was visiting him in L.A. So cute. And then these are just a different sh shade of the colors. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then on the back, I have um, two like little journals for her to do with what she wants. They're tied together with seam binding. This one has tea dyed paper in it. 
and this was made out of uh, the file folder. And then this one, super pretty. I used uh, my favorite bow punch, which I think is a Martha Stewart bow punch, and then I added a dangle off of that bow. I sewed around um, these panels from the paper pad. I've tied it together with seam binding, and this one has uh, tea dyed paper and pink dyed paper for its pages. Super cute. And then I made a little pocket right here, and then I just, these came out of the paper pad, and I figured she could do whatever she wanted with them. They're like uh, just really pretty circles that I zigzagged stitched around the edges. Super pretty. But I am on a mission to use uh, my things instead of hoarding them this year. <laughs> so in an effort to do that, I decided to make this adorable gift set for my friend, who by the time you're seeing this, she should have it in her hands, and I will put a link to her channel below. And um, yeah, it was so fun to make. I enjoyed it very much. I love how well everything goes together. Um, leave me a comment and let me know what you think below. And thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you.